10 tips and tricks to enhance your Canva journey in 2021. The best thing about Canva is they keep on updating the platform to just keep up with the trends resulting in you keeping up with the trends as well. In this video, we're gonna talk about the tips and tricks of Canva that will ease your Canva journey. My name is Tanmay Therte and let the tips and tricks begin. So the first tip is shadow effect. This is the part of the new update where you get to add shadows to the images. And in order to do that, all you have to do is select the image you want shadow to, go to effects, go down a bit, there's the shadow option available, select drop, select it another time in order to change the attributes of the shadow. You get the option to have shadow on the bottom or the bottom right or the right side of the image or even top right. I want it at the bottom so I'll select the bottom. You can also select the offset. The shadow can go as far as 8. At the same time you can change the angle of the shadow at the same time. That is so cool. Even the transparency can be changed or oh, shadow looks darker. A shadow looks good when it's darker, right? So I'll increase the transparency. You can also change the blur effect. I mean, if you want to scatter the shadow, you can scatter with adding more blur. Or you can also turn it around and well, you got another soul for your shoes. So <laughs> you don't want that. So I'll just scatter it a bit. And that's it. Your shadow is ready. That's how you can add shadow to the image you want to add. Easy as it gets. Number two is the gradient effect. It's pretty easy as all you have to do is go to elements, click on the search bar, type gradient. Select your favorite. Here are so many options available for you. All you have to do is select your favorite. This one looks good. So I'll select this. I'll drag it and make sure it turns up into background. So, okay. Here it is. All set. You got your gradient effect. Number three is the ebook covers. All you have to do is select a book cover, whichever it is available. I'm gonna go with this one. But all you can see is the 2D design of the cover, right? Well, here's the catch. All you have to do is go to effects. There's this option called smart mockups. Click on see all, go down, look for the book options. Here's the book option, select one of them and you'll have the 3D structure of your book right in front of you, just with the one click. You can also click there again and fill up the default colors, whichever you want at the back. This colors looks good. I'm gonna keep it this way and you can see the book in 3D. This becomes very handy when you are sending your book to a client or any of them to just have a visual effect to see how it is going to look. 3D shape always helps in such kind of situation and smart mockups is exactly the kind of feature you want in Canva and you have this one. Number four is upload your image 10 times faster. All you have to do is go to the folder, drag the image you want, go to Google Chrome and paste it on your Canva. That's it, that's all you have to do. This makes uploading so much faster rather than going to uploads, then going on upload media and then selecting folder from the device. You don't have to do that, all you have to do is go to the folder, drag the image and put it in your Canva. Select it, put it wherever you want and you are just good to go. Number five is duplicating image at faster rate. All you have to do is select the image. If you are a Windows user, press Ctrl plus D and you have another image. And if you are a Mac user, you can use Command plus D to duplicate the image in Canva. This comes really, really very handy when you are duplicating the image rather than going here and duplicating. It is very time saving tip as you have to go to here, click on the duplicate to get a duplicate image. You can always type Ctrl plus D and have another one here. Number six is the highlight effects. YouTubers do this all the time for their thumbnails. And I made this last video where I made a YouTube thumbnail. So I thought why not add highlight effect? So here we go. Select on the image, go to effects, search for the shadow, select on glow, select another time so that you can access the attributes, go to colors, select white, put blur to zero, extend transparency, and now just slowly add size. Now this looks perfect. And there you go. You have the highlight effect for your thumbnail. Isn't it easy? Lot of people search it on YouTube how to add highlight effect on your thumbnail, but this is how you do it. A simple method is on Canva. Number seven is the grouping elements. Most of the time what happens is you want to move the certain text and with those you want another text to move with them as well. So you can always press shift and select the text you want to move group them. I want these three texts to move. After grouping, just move it upwards, downwards, sidewards, wherever you want. I want to move it upwards, so I'll go upwards and that's it. That's how you group the elements. You can always select anywhere and get the grouping done. 
Number eight is locking the elements. Well, as we discussed earlier about grouping them, it often happens that when you're editing something else, you misplace the another one like this. So in that case, all you can do is select this, go to the lock and just lock it. And now you cannot remove or move this anytime until and unless you unlock this and then you are feasible to move it. It really comes in handy when you're doing a complicated work. So all you can do is select, go to lock, lock it, Another time, just move it here, lock it, and then you don't have to do anything to it. It won't get deleted, it won't be moved until and unless you unlock it from here. Number nine is hyperlink text. Well, this comes really very handy if you're trying to create funnel for sales or redirecting it to your website or the social media account that you have. All you have to do is click on the text where you want to add hyperlink text, go to link, click on it, add the link and apply and boom, you are ready. Let's test it to download it. Let's go to download and download it in the PDF standard. And there you go. Once it gets download, select it. As you can see, there is hyperlink text as soon as you tap on it you'll be redirected to the website of mavinvid because that was the link isn't it fascinating number 10 search filter if you are a kind of a person who is very clear in what he wants then this feature is definitely for you all you have to do is go to search filter select the color i want blue color so i'm gonna select blue and you'll see all the blue templates most of them are blue you can also go to elements select cake search it if you want red cake then all you have to do is go to select search and you'll see red cake you'll also see the photos of red cakes videos will be available as well and that's it that's pretty much sums up the whole thing it takes a lot of time to search red template when all you can do is just go to filter and type red or select red it's as easy as you can get that's it summing up canva in three words easy to use creative at ease and efficient with time and so aesthetic when it comes to the designing part and so mind-boggling when it comes to options and definitely so varied when it comes to templates. If designing is the lock, then Canva is definitely the key. Hope you loved the Canva series cause we loved bringing it to you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel of Mavinvid cause we will be bringing up tips, tricks and tutorials of numerous platforms out there. This is Tanmay Therte, signing off.